Step out of here. Okay. Yeah, you're changing it. Eating my words. <laughs> what up, what up? Will here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And guys, you've asked, and as always, we deliver, baby, the <laughs> Z1000. Hyped so much as maybe the best BB core ever. I mean, we're talking like Meta, Goods, and like Z1000. Uh, I don't know, guys. I've never swung this thing, but people swear. These things go for like $700 on eBay, and this is like a 2013 bat. Uh, you actually didn't see a lot of guys swing this back in the day, though. It was weird. Like, So back in the early BB core days, guys, Louisville wasn't like that good yet. Louisville didn't get like huge in BB core, like kind of from my perspective, in my opinion, until like the 915 and like the whole prime line came out and like the select line. Like that's what really got Louisville going. Now they're just like, they're, they're kind of like the king of BB core now, right? But people realized like later on, like, oh shit, like this thing is gas. This thing's absolute fire. It's a one piece composite and apparently just hits absolute tanks. This is actually a 34, 31. Uh, so we're on 330 all around, we're gonna lose a hundred dollars worth of baseballs today probably, but we're gonna take one for the team boys. It's for you, all right? Uh, but we wanna compare this to something. So we got uh, a pretty good, BB core bat also in 3431. We're gonna take some hacks with that to see is this thing overhyped or is it truly the best BB core of all time? And we got the homie Trace Lair back for another video. We're Let's back. go. Alrighty, closer look at the Z1000 from TPX. Guys, uh, if you're an OG, you recognize TPX. That's what Louisville Slugger used to call all their metal bats. But I think in like 2014, 2015, they switched everything to just Louisville Slugger. TPX is easier to say though. Louisville Slugger is a mouthful. Uh, first things first, big time shout out to the homie Brady's Gear. They're like a side uh, sideline swap and an eBay page. Go check out their Instagram. But guys, one piece composite. So like think like the Maxim. Uh, but people say this thing just hits absolute nukes. So let's try it, man. We got a lizard skin grip on there. The barrel is just a foot and a half long. It's absolutely insane. This thing's just like only sweet spot. So um, let's try this and see if it, you know, is it really that much better than like a Cat 8, for example, which is again, just a pretty good BB core bat. Let's try it out, boys. We might have some balls pretty damn far. We're going for 400 feet today. Let's go. Alrighty, to start things out, let's get a baseline for like pretty standard, solid BB core performance with the Cat 8 here. That's like a that's like a 70% swing. That's yeah, fucking I carry good. Oh yeah. See ya. <laughs> Took down a tree. Alright, let's try that thing. Alright boys, it's time. The BB core goat or just another urban legend. Let's check this out. Line drive the center, let's see. Ooh, you don't feel it, you just hear a crack. Yeah, literally. God, wow. Ooh. You hear that? What the hell? That's pretty good. Okay. It's the most cool. unique sounding beep. Okay, I, I kind of like it. Ooh. It's like, it's automatic. You get in the air, it's just automatic. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Ooh. That it sounds broken as hell. <laughs> okay. You get that? No, I got that on the handle. Uh-huh. Or I mean the handle, aka, you know, bottom of the barrel. <laughs> bottom of the barrel. Getting blown up with a wood bat. That's the weirdest sound I've ever experienced. That just, that. Gone, oh, no. gone. <laughs> that sounds like the quattro when we were breaking it. Uh -huh. so, so you're telling me that this was around in high school, when I was in high school? Yeah, but you never saw it, right? Nobody's swinging that thing. Everyone's swinging the voodoo. Man, I wish I, wish I would have known. 
Oh, that was a pretty good one. I'm gonna try to go up. Ooh. Scoreboard, baby! That's it. No! Just short. <laughs> That's out of here. That's out of here. I like, don't know how to feel. Oh, yeah. It's, it's really good. I don't think it's the best BB core I've ever swung. It's really good. Probably, okay. <laughs> impromptu bat, in, uh, impromptu bat bro scale rating right here. Kind of unloaded. Decently unloaded uh, for a composite bat. Give like a two and a half. Pop, for a 34, with like the Voodoo Overlord, I feel like I could hit it further. With the Stinger Nuke, I was hitting it as far. And that was a 33. Mm -hmm. Like four, probably. So we're at six and a half. Sweet spot is nuts. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily feel great, but the sweet spot's stupid. Probably like four and a half or five. So that would put it at like 11, 11 or 11 and a half, I think. It's good. Which is great. It's, it would probably be, you know, top five or 10 BB cores of the year, but it's not something I drop 700 bucks on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yo, that's oh, all yeah. my trees. <laughs> oh. That's, oh my lord. That was probably our four hundo there. If that goes out, I kind of changed my mind. Okay. You change your mind. Huh. That's. I was feeling the same way and I did the same, you got that off the end. That was one handed. Yeah. Okay. A couple more tries. That was impressive. Oh. <laughs> Go! Oh. <laughs> that was the dead end of the bat. If that goes out, we have some issues. Yep. Right. Ball, ball. Oh my! That that's, was off the end cap. Right there. Like. That was uh, that's three thirty off the end cap. Wait, what? Yeah. To the executives at Louisville Slugger, if Trace goes yah yah right here, you got to bring this thing back. <laughs> bring it back. Lots of pressure. This is gonna be uncut. See if I can get There's a pitch. There's a lot of, lot of, uh, see if I can get a pitch. Table here. Come on. No. Come on. Come on, baby. He's <laughs> coming back. back. But say what you just said again. Okay, I'm, I'm, catch, I'm not catching balls in the barrel. I'm catching balls here. <laughs> catching balls here. Because, I mean, this is even more. And you had, like, one that I feel like you actually barreled up there, and it went to the top of the trees. Yeah. And it just sat, you could tell it sounded a bit different. This is just, I just don't know. I mean, I wish I had this in high school. Illegal alert. That's a one piece too. That's out of here. Okay. Yeah, so you're changing it. Eating my words. <laughs> the bat heard what you said and it's just to like, me, it, hell okay, To me, this is how it feels like. It got offended. It got offended when I said that and just pissed on some balls. I feel like when you barrel it, it doesn't go as far, but I feel like if you hit it here like, or here, the ball goes further. The miss hits <laughs> are like as so, good, if not better, than the sweet spot. So I would say the sweet spots in these in this bat is here and here, and we're looking to hit it here. <laughs> so I mean, if you guys, I guess if you guys want to hit home runs in high school and stuff, it's fine, but you're gonna have trouble with barrel control when you get older. That's my opinion. yeah. Because I'm serious, like I was hitting balls here and they're flying and I felt like I was squaring balls up in the barrel and they were just, they're going, but they weren't jumping. And the same thing here. Weird. So, I mean, it has pop. It's just, I feel like it has pop in the wrong way. Yeah. Like, you know what it's I mean? It's like the most unique BB core I've ever swung. Yeah. It can make it's a bad so hitter good. Yeah, yeah that's, it would make that's a bad hitter really good. Because if I'm missing, for me, I'm miss, miss hitting because it's just this barrel is just so big. Yeah. So like a real case, okay, so like a really good hitter, you know, like a D1 prospect swinging that and then like swinging the goods or something. Yeah. I feel like they're not gonna oh, see much difference. Yeah, no. But like, kind of like a shitty hitter uh -huh. swinging that versus the goods, the sweet spot and just like the way miss hits go, uh -huh. they're actually gonna like it. So I don't know, I, I can see the appeal. I can see like the, 
the aftermarket six hundred dollar budget drops. I mean, guys, I would never spend six hundred dollars on a bat. I don't care what it is. I'd drop two hundred thirty bucks on a stinger nuke and out hit all y'all. But well get, that's just me. <laughs> might as well get, you might as well get two or three voodoo's for that price. For real, dude. Yeah. Or like forty five string kings, <laughs> or or a bunch of wood bats and get really good. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, so the Z1000, uh, one of the most unique bats I've ever swung. The sound is unlike anything I've ever hit. It sounds like... Uh, it sounds like the old CF5s, kind of. It sounds like the squishy okay. barrel, guys. Oh, it my gosh. It sounds like the does. Mizuno Max Core. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The squishy barrel is back. They tricked us. That's what this really is. I hate that. that. But, yeah, like, I mean, you guys heard us ranting there. It's so weird. Like... If you get if you get it off the handle a bit or off the end a bit, it doesn't feel good. You get rung up, but it goes as if like you hit it right on the sweet spot. It absolutely launches the ball and miss hits, unlike any bat I've ever seen. Uh, and it's a little bit more end loaded than a lot of composite bats are going to be. Definitely as end loaded as the Cat Eight. So I'm like at least like a 2.5 on the bat row scale in terms of end load. But the sweet spot, if there was like a six on the bat row scale, just like not it doesn't necessarily again it doesn't really feel good, but just the performance on like not very well hit balls is just stupid. I mean, I just like stuck my bat out what one handed and hit it 335, 340 over the fence on a pop up. Like this is one of those weird bats where I think it can like its best role is kind of making a bad hitter good. It's like a cheater bat. If if you swung this thing your whole high school career and then had to go swing wood, no you'll shot. break a thousand bats. No this is the furthest thing away from a wood bat aside from the sound and the stiffness. The way the barrel performs is the most like metal bat cheap situation I've ever come across. But um, if, if, we're, if we're playing tournament baseball, that's the one you use in the championship. Yeah, right there. so <laughs> weird. Unlike anything I've ever swung, I see the hype. I probably wouldn't get it for myself. It's just so much different and it would take a lot of getting used to. And I think I can probably hit it a little bit further, like on the screws with like an end loaded alloy bat. This sweet spot was just nuts. And the sound is the most unique thing in the world. Well, there you guys have it. Brady, uh, Brady's gear, thanks a ton, man. Uh, maybe has a few of these left hanging around, but awesome bat. Uh, it'd be cool to see if Louisville came out with this again, the Maxim that like basically the only one piece composite bat out there in the BB core space getting tons of love college guys like it definitely good opportunity for bats like this uh good stuff thanks for the suggestion guys all right guys there you have it super fun uh video to do there with the z1000 guys if this exact bat came out today though i can see how it would get banned just like there's no other bb core like it where you have the sweet spot of a slow pitch softball bat. <laughs> it's just kind of whack. And you just have like these balls that you do not think you hit well that are going out of the yard. So uh, this gets into illegal territory, in my opinion. Obviously, you know, they're not, they're not going to go back and ban it now. If they do because of this video, that'd be the stupidest thing in the world. But, um, <laughs> but guys, thanks for hanging out today. You can check us out on social media over on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram at Baseball Bat Bros. You can check out Bat Bros merch over at BaseballBatBros.com. And if you guys want to help support the channel and uh, help us buy back those 40 baseballs we just hit over the fence into that dense forest filled with moss, and we're probably not going to find those, uh, you can find ways to uh, help support the channel with uh, like YouTube memberships or Patreon down in the description below. But guys, thanks for kicking it today we'll see you next time bat madness coming soon all right that does it no more 330 field boys we might have to retire this one we lost 90 baseballs <laughs> i'm not gonna find them in this dude it's like the amazon in here